Hi, my name is Eugenia and I'm a math tutor. Today we're going to learn how to integrate odd and even powers of sine and cosine. Let's start with the odd powers since they're a little easier. Suppose we need to find the integral of cosine to the fifth power of x. The trick to integrating odd powers of sine and cosine is to use the trig identity sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1. So let's get our integral down to a form where we can use this. So we'll want cosine squared x in it. We can do this by first separating one of the powers off so that we have an even and an odd power by writing cosine to the fourth power of x times cosine of x dx. And of course this is the same thing as cosine to the fifth power. Now to get cosine squared we can rewrite this cosine to the fourth power as cosine squared all squared, like this. Now we have this in a form where we can use this identity. If we solve for cosine squared x here, we will get 1 minus sine squared x. So that's what we substitute instead of cosine squared x in our equation. And we get the integral of 1 minus sine squared x all squared times cosine x dx. This looks a lot more complicated than what we started out with, but it's actually going to allow us to do a simple u substitution. If we let u equal sine x, then du will be cosine x. So now we can go ahead and do our u substitution, and we get the integral of 1 minus u squared all squared. Next, we can go ahead and expand these parentheses to make it easier to integrate, and that will give us the integral of u to the fourth minus 2u squared plus 1 du. We can finally integrate this term by term, and we get u to the fifth over 5 minus 2u cubed over 3 plus u plus c. Our last step is to substitute sine of x back in for u. So we get sine to the fifth of x over 5 minus 2 sine cubed x over 3 plus sine of x plus c. And that's what we get as the answer to our integral. That is how we integrate odd powers of sine, cosine, and even a combination of the two. Just remember to use sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. Now to integrate even powers of sine and cosine, we'll use two other properties. Sine squared x is equal to 1 half minus cosine of 2x divided by 2. And the second one is very similar. It's cosine squared x is equal to 1 half plus cosine of 2x divided by 2. Integrating even powers of cosine and sine is a little bit more complex, but it uses the same basic idea. So let's take a look at an example. Suppose we want to integrate sine to the fourth power of x. Since we want to use these identities, we can see that the best way to start is by rewriting the sine to the fourth of x as sine squared all squared again. So let's go ahead and rewrite it and we get sine squared x all squared dx. Now we can go ahead and do the substitution, substituting 1 half minus cosine 2x divided by 2. So we get the integral of 1 half minus cosine of 2x divided by 2 all squared dx. Our next step is to expand these parentheses. This may look tough, but just think of this as a minus b squared. And we know we'll get a squared minus 2ab plus b squared when we do that. So what we actually get in this problem is the integral of 1 half squared minus 2 times 1 half 
times cosine of 2x divided by 2 plus cosine of 2x divided by 2 squared dx. Now we can integrate this long string term by term. Let's start by simplifying each term and pulling the constants out. So here for the first one we have uh, 1 fourth comes out and we're left with the integral of 1 dx. In our next integral, the 2 and the 1 half cancel out and we can go ahead and pull this 2 out as a 1 half times the integral of cosine 2x dx plus the next integral, which we can also pull a 1 fourth out after we square that. And then we'll have cosine squared of 2x left inside. Now hopefully this looks a little more doable. The first integral is easy since it's just x. For the second integral, we can use a simple u substitution of u is equal to 2x and that will give us minus 1 fourth sine of 2x. This last integral is a little more complicated so we'll need to use our second property on the side here. Here we have the cosine squared of 2x so we'll need to make sure we're consistent and replace x with 2x everywhere in this equation. So that will give us plus 1 fourth times the integral of 1 half plus cosine of 4x divided by 2 dx. In the next step, the first part stays the same, 1 fourth x minus 1 fourth sine of 2x, and we can finally integrate this integral term by term. 1 half comes out as 1 half x, and times 1 fourth we end up with 1 eighth x, plus here we do another u substitution with u equal to 4x and that gives us 1 32nd of sine of 4x plus c. Now our very last step is to combine these like terms which gives us 3 eighths x and then the rest as we have it minus 1 fourth sine of 2x plus 1 32nd sine of 4x plus c, and that's our final answer. So that's how we integrate the odd and even powers of sine and cosine. Thanks for watching.